Hello and welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. And today I have another Irish whiskey on the cask. And have a look. This is a teeling whiskey. And it's all black. So the whole tube is black. And it's called Black Pits. And Black Pits is another district, or was another district, of Dublin. Teeling is a Dublin whiskey. Yeah, they Teeling used to be, at the very, very beginning, they used to be in Dublin, at the Liberty Market. And then everything went downhill with the Irish whiskey. And they got out of Dublin, and they used to be a, a blender or independent bottler. Got their whiskey from different big column still factories and matured the whiskey there and sold it as the Teeling Irish Whiskey. And now they've built a new distillery back in the old uh, Liberty Market district. And right next to the Liberty Market, because the Liberty Market was where all the grain was processed or traded. And uh, right next to that was the Black Pits. And the black pits were called black pits because they were burning peat quite a lot because there were the malters and they malted all the grain and had to dry it in the end. And with that, they had to produce yeah, peat smoke or smoke. And that ended up in a very yeah, black clouds and probably also black buildings. And that's probably why it's called black pits. Correct me if I'm wrong. And yes, this is one single malt that is peaty and an Irish whiskey. And it's a tealing Irish whiskey. There are not many peated Irish whiskies on the market. market. In fact, I can only remember one off the top of my head now. There are probably a few more. But now we have another one, the Teeling Black Pits. And does it say anything about uh, New Market, Dublin, New Market? Was it Liberty Market or New Market? Yeah. They don't say when it was distilled, which is not that of a bad sign that it comes from the new distillery that they opened. I think in 2015, 16. I've been to the opening, so I should know. <laughs> so, and, but they say a little bit. Petered single malt Irish whiskey. Berm, Sautern cask, non-chill filtration, distilled by Alex Cheston. Uh, he doesn't have a good handwriting. Yeah, let me show you the bottle, uh, the opened bottle, also very black, with a nice golden writing at the very bottom. Yeah, so it's a very cool looking bottle. Hopefully that comes to the, the standard portfolio of the Teeling Whiskey. I'm not quite sure if it's a standard one or if it's not. Let's find out if it's good. Oh. Mm. Mm. So yes, there is smoke, but a very faint smoke. But with smoke, uh, the nose, if you don't have much smoke in the nose, that doesn't mean anything about the taste. So the smoke in the nose and the smoke in the taste, they really don't have to connect. But if you smell smoke in a whiskey, then you probably have some smoke in your taste. If you have very little smoke in your whiskey in the nose, that means nothing. It can be a really, really smoky whiskey. So a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of a fresh flavor, maybe just the, the scent of alcohol from the whiskey or some citrus note in there. But I like it. A little bit of a a remembrance of marine flavors. Mm. Mm. Wow, mm, a 
lot of smoke and a good bourbon character. Is this a, a proper smoky PT whiskey? So this is going into the range of 40 ppm. There are smoky whiskies out there, but not many. So it's it plays on well shoulder to shoulder with this highly peated whiskies. Most of them, I love whiskies, hmm. and it's it's a little bit fresh. I do have a good amount of oak, a little bit of smokiness. So it's a very balanced whiskey and somehow smooth whiskey. So yeah, it, it feels like a teeling whiskey with a good punch of smoke to it. So it's a, yeah, a typical teeling whiskey with smoke in it. And here it says reborn 2012. Was it really 2012 when they reopened? Maybe. Mmm. Mmm. Didn't think the Irish had it in themselves to make such a highly peated smoky whiskey. But I can truly say they pulled it off. They pulled it off nicely. It it's missing a little bit of these different touches to it there's there is a bit of a touch to it a little bit of a bourbon character with a little bit of oak to it and in the end you have a bit of a salty marine flavor so the, the typical touch of a, of a peated smoky whiskey is in there with nothing to give it a, a counter so it's not like a you have that nice sweetness of a sherry in it so it's a true pure peated bourbon style or, or refill bourbon style whiskey. I like it. It's it's the best thing they could bring out at the very beginning to show, okay, we can do a, a classical smoked peated whiskey. I like it. It's, it's very nice. Mm. Mm, like it. But this cries for more. So they can do the the normal peated smoked classical one. But can they do anything with a, a little bit of a sherry touch to it? Or a little bit of a wine cast touch to it? I know that Teeling is really, really strong on cask selection. They have tons of different casks. They have uh, had joint ventures with craft beer and tons of wine and tons of sherry and port and and whatever and now they've chosen to come out with a, a normal cask just to show the what they can do with the peat and i like it but bring out the next one i'd really love to see how they can do all their shenanigans with all their casks with the smoky spirit that would be just a really great thing i hope you enjoyed this if you enjoyed this, then please give me a thumbs up and hopefully Teeling will bring out some interesting cask finishes with their smoky spirit. Thanks for watching and see you next time.